everybody and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Jay LaVon back with another video. Now, if you're new, then welcome, welcome, welcome. Think about subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. Now, you guys know that in the past, if you've been watching me, you know, when I do a video with my body sprays, I do always double back to try to give you guys the perfumes that go with that category as well. And what am I talking about today? I am talking about fresh and clean perfumes. So I already showed you guys 11. Yes, 11. I know it's a weird number, but I've showed you guys 11 of my fresh body sprays. Some, you know, from Bath and Body Works, from Victoria's Secret. But today I'm going to be showing you guys my 11. Yes, again, different kind of a number, but my 11 fresh perfumes that I have in my collection. I was about to say body sprays. But yeah, so the 11 fresh perfumes that I have in my collection or just these 11 I'm going to be showing you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, again, if you're new here, I will pop all of the notes up here. But will I go over every single note um, when I'm talking? No, my videos have been at least 20 minutes long. I'm trying to cut them down. So we're going to see what we can do in this video. But let's go ahead and again, let's, let's jump right into the video. So. The first fragrance that I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm sure if you are a fragrance lover like me, you know which one it is or you've at least smelled this one. So the very first one that I'm showing you guys today is by Dolce & Gabbana, Light Blue. So this is a brand new bottle, but this is like my third bottle of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I know off bat this one has lemon in it. I know it has apple in it. What else does it have? Because I need to look down and see everything. Um, Rose and Musk. Oh, this, oh my gosh, y'all, I, I don't, I just can't see anybody not liking this, but this is a citrus fresh scent. Some people say powdery. I don't get powdery at all. I don't know. Um, I won't knock them because we all smell something different. Our body chemistry is different and brings out different notes. With me, I get more of the citrus from the lemon that's in here, but I also get the apple and I get the musk as well. I also get a little bit of that rose. Um, I think the rose, you know, it's beautiful in this fragrance, but what I get the most is the lemon and the apple. And I say it, and I'm going to keep saying it, they blended this lemon and apple perfectly, perfectly. I like how they combine together. They make a beautiful fresh scent. So again, this is a citrus fresh scent and this is beautiful. I just, I don't know anybody that does not like this. It wears different on different people, but it, it wears beautiful, beautiful on me. So again, that lemon and that apple combination, I would have never thought to add those together, but this light blue is just so beautiful. So again, this is a beautiful, fresh citrus scent. Yes. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right. So the second one that I'm going to be showing you guys is So Real Cheap and Chic by Machino. And I'm not even sure. I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. Lord, I had the bottle. I had the bottle backwards or turned the wrong way. But it's still not showing up that good. But that's the name of this. And this is a beautiful scent as well. <sighs> yeah, this is a citrus fresh scent as well. Um, Some of the scents in this is orange, magnolia, and musk. And this is also a citrus fresh scent. <sighs> Except like in light blue, you got that lemon musky scent and this one you get the more of the orange musky scent um but this is definitely a beautiful orange citrus fresh scent so when you first spray you get that burst of orange but it's a fresh scent so a citrus fresh and this is beautiful as well i will go ahead and tell you guys um just a real quick story even though i'm trying to keep my videos not from being too long um when we shut down from covid um and we opened back up i actually went to tj maxx and i actually got this on a uh, sale for 13 dollars. so yeah it was the best 13 dollars i ever spent i had not smelled it before i purchased it but i was just like 13 dollars i i I gotta get this so i ended up getting it and i actually ended up really really liking it so again this is a beautiful citrus fresh scent give it a try if you can perfect love it now this next scent i actually smelled on someone that, that i was working with some years ago and i just i've been keeping it in my collection ever since then um this is love and luck by ed hardy and well let me go ahead and give you the notes 
um, blood orange. Can you tell I like a citrus in my fresh? Yeah, blood orange, bergamot, jasmine, and cedar. And this smells so good. And what I try to do is I try to compare a perfume to something that you guys might have smelled before. Um, but yeah, this is the whole top. But anyways... What made me like it is, like I said, I was working with a girl and she had it on. And every day she would come to work and she would just smell so fresh, like fresh laundry. But specifically, like Snuggle. The original Snuggle. The one in the um the blue bottle. Yeah, that, that's what it smells like. She would always smell like Snuggle. And I'm like, girl, you smell good. And I use Snuggle as a fabric softener. But I had never smelled a perfume that smelled like it. And she was like, yeah, it's this, this. You know, it's this Love and Look by Ed Hardy. It's not, you know, it's not expensive. It just smells good. And so when she was telling me that, you know, I had to go and get it. So I went and I got it. And you can tell that I definitely use it. This is my second bottle of this. But it's halfway gone. It's a dent in it. I try to refrain from using it because it's getting harder and harder to find. But yeah. Yeah, this is a fresh scent. Well, just a, I would say just a small hint of sweet, but it's really fresh. But again, it smells like the original Snuggle, the liquid um fabric softener Snuggle, the original. That's what this smells like. That's what this smells like. All right, now moving on to the next one. It is one of my favorites. You guys know this is like my third or fourth bottle. Um, Let me go ahead and show it to you first. So it's Elizabeth R and White Tea. I have a review strictly about this perfume by It's Lonesome. Um, yeah, I love this perfume. It is so fresh and musky. Let me go ahead and give you the notes. Okay, so it's C notes, uh, white tea, and exotic woods. But this is just a really fresh, musky scent. Oh. I love a musk scent. I'm going to keep saying it because it's true. I love a musky scent. I love this scent. Do you know, I so many people have bought this scent um, from smelling it on me. It's just, it, it's beautiful. My old QB, she she got it. Um, I went over my best friend's house. They're like my second family. I've been knowing her or she's been my best friend since second grade. And um, I went over there and I, I want to say her mom and her aunt got it from me being over there that day yeah but her grandma that that's my that's my buddy right there she she got you know what don't <laughs> i'm getting off track but anyways so many people like this scent is just a really fresh musky scent that's the best way i can describe this fresh and musky oh man yeah a beautiful fresh musky scent uh, yeah i love white tea if you like a musky scent and you like a fresh scent like I do, um, out of all of these, this will be my number one that I would recommend if you like a musky scent. Because this is the one that has the most musk. This is the muskiest scent that I have in my collection. But it's a beautiful musky scent. And if I'm being honest, probably some people um, that like fragrance will understand this more than others. But it smells white. It smells white. Like if you were maybe, you know, out at an event or an all-white party, this is the one that I will pull out. It, it, it smells like it's just meant for you. Like when you're looking for it, what's, what's fresher than like a, a white outfit? You just look so fresh. And ooh, yeah. Anyways, moving on. But beautiful, fresh, musky scent. Yes. All right, now this next one I've told you guys that I've given away a couple times, but I do not plan on giving it away this time, and that is She by Alfred Sung. This is a beautiful, fresh, aquatic scent. Let me go ahead and give you the notes. So, water lily, orange blossom, and musk. To me, orange blossom is fresh. I've told you guys that, um, yeah. But anyways, this is a beautiful, aquatic, fresh scent. Like I said, a couple of people have asked for this and I've always was able to give it to them. Like I said, I have a big collection. This one is uh, really affordable, but I don't plan on giving it away this time. So, you know, I'm, I'm keeping it this time. But this is like, who have been when? My stepmom. Um, one of my stepmothers, well, an older stepmom actually introduced this to me. I want to say when I was a senior. 
in high school and it stuck with me ever since then you know when you first out of high school well, not everybody some people are more fortunate than others but when you first out of high school and you know and i was a broke college student this is my best friend y'all this perfume it changes it sometimes it's 16.99 sometimes it's 19.99 i don't know what's going on with tj maxx but i always get this perfume from tj maxx it's in a light blue and black bottle but this is just the best aquatic fresh scent ever especially for it to be that cheap it does not smell cheap at all but again a beautiful aquatic fresh scent that is she by effort song now moving on to the next one this is one of my top 10 favorite fragrances no matter what category i'm doing like whether it's fruity fresh it doesn't matter this is just one of my top 10 fragrances ever gonna always remain in my collection up there with Baccarat Rouge because you guys know I told you that I don't care how much Baccarat Rouge is I'm going to keep that in my collection and I'm always going to keep that 6.8 ounce bottle in my collection unless they stop selling it other than that you guys are always going to see it my favorite perfume in the world right now I haven't smelled anything that knocks it down I know some people don't like it I know some people that love it but you know are not willing to pay that much to get that big bottle but Baccarat is not in this this it's not in this video because these are fresh scents and that's not that's not a fresh scent but still my favorite still my number one but this fragrance is up there with it let me go ahead and show it to you that is creed silver mountain water i love this fragrance before i get into me just oh, falling over this fragrance let me go ahead and let you know what's in it first though so. so there is bergamot green tea and musk oh my gosh you guys i i love this i love this fragrance i don't i think they marketed it as unisex or they said it was for men whatever to me fresh is fresh man or woman who doesn't want to who doesn't want to smell fresh i i do i i do i want to smell fresh but anyways you guys easily one of my top 10 Lord, beautiful. Ah, I love this scent. But anyways, um, the best way to, to even describe this scent is clean and fresh, fresh and clean. It's the cleanest fragrance that you ever going to smell. It's the freshest of fresh fragrances that you ever going to smell. I don't care what anybody else says. Just as of now, I have not smelled anything fresher than this. I have not smelled anything cleaner than this. This is the clean of all cleans, the freshest of all fresh, and that's just the best way I can describe it. I can sit up here and say it's fresh. I can sit up here and say it's musky, but the best way to describe this is the cleanest of all cleans, the freshest of all fresh. Who's so gonna check me, boo? No, let me stop. <laughs> y'all but for real that's the that's the best way i can describe this again the freshest of all fresh the cleanest of all clean if you smell this you will know what i'm talking about it does have like a little me me metallic aspect of it but this is the freshest of all fresh the cleanest of all clean <sighs> yeah i will say the same thing that i said about the white tea um i wear this no matter what color i'm wearing but like if you if you had on white, I would say this is a white scent and not because of the the bottle. It's just like an all white party. The vibe that it gives, it just goes well with these fresh and musky scents. So this is a fresh and musky scent. But for the last time, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know it's the cleanest of all cleans, the freshest of all fresh scents. In my opinion, at least as of now, I haven't smelled anything cleaner than this. I haven't smelled anything fresher than this. And I'm going to just leave that where it's at. I'll leave it where it's at. So next we have Burberry Sport. And let me go ahead and tell you the notes. So in Burberry Sport, we have salt, magnolia, honeysuckle, and sand. And those notes are really good for this. This is a fresh, and <laughs> I said this before, but this is a fresh, salty scent. And when I say that, I mean you heard it has salt you heard it has sand this smells literally like a fresh day at the beach feet in the sand the the water the you know the ocean the salt water running up 
on you know the land it just that's what it smells like a, a a day at the beach the fresh air blowing through your hair or your weave whatever you got um but yeah the fresh air blowing through your hair the 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 salt that's coming from the you know that's coming from the ocean the salt water just that breeze over that salt water and that you know running up on to the land and your feet in the sand that is what this smells like so this smells like a fresh day at the beach and that's honestly what it smells like when i say it smells fresh it smells like that fresh air that water running up your feet in the sand that's exactly what Burberry, Burberry sport smells like fresh day at the beach yeah okay so next i have well it well i'm short first before i tell you so um, Mason Francis Kirk John Loam a la rose. Um, I do have the original a la rose and uh, just being real honest if because when I got it this was not out if this had come out first and I still have I haven't seen a big bottle or or when I got when I got this they didn't have a big bottle but just being really really honest with you guys like I always am if they would have came out with this one first I would have not gotten the big bottle of the um original olive olive rose i probably would have got the small bottle of the olive rose and then the big bottle of this but let me go ahead and tell you guys the notes so it's rose grapefruit and amberwood um baby when i tell you this is the freshest rose you're gonna ever smell this is a fresh rose scent um that's it, it's given musky and it's given a little woodsy to be honest with you, when this first came out, it was marketed towards men. But um, my person at Neiman Marcus, he was telling me, he was like, yeah, it was supposed to be marketed towards men. But so many women liked it and more women, you know, purchase it than men. They just decided to go ahead and market it as unisex. And I can understand that. Like I said, I, I get the woodsy, I get the rose, I get the musk. But this is a beautiful rose scent. Um, Yeah. This is a beautiful fresh rose scent. This smells like, um, you know, a lot of times you get the rose water. And a lot of times rose is sweet. But this smells like a, a fresh rose that's just been cut from a rose bush. That's, that's what you get out of this. So you get like a really fresh floral aspect of a rose. And then you get that musky. And then the dry down is a little woodsy as well. So, But yeah, this is a beautiful fresh floral musky scent. Fresh Flora Musky. Uh, again, if this one would have come out first, I would have gotten the bigger bo bigger bottle. Um, but when I first got this, I don't think that the bigger bottle was available. But I did. I do think I just seen recently where he released a bigger bottle. But I definitely would have swapped them around and got this one in the six point eight um ounce, and then got the olive roll. I still would have gotten it, but I would have definitely gotten this one in the bigger bottle and that one in the smaller bottle. But it's too late for that now. I already got it how I got it. So. We're going to get it how we live. We're going to move on to the next one. Now, this one I have never seen. And, and I, 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 at least I've never seen with the, the beautiful um, ladies and gentlemen that I follow on here um, for fragrance. So, I've, I've never seen anyone mention it. But it is a lot of videos to get through. So, maybe someone mentioned it and I just didn't see it. Um, but this is called Oxygen. And... This was a bond buy for me. I just looked at the white top and, you know, the blue. And I just was like, oh, that looks fresh. So I went through some of the notes. And one of them threw me a little bit. But let me go ahead and show you the notes. So for oxygen, um, it's bergamot, milk, gardenia, and sandalwood. The milk note threw me, you guys. It threw me off. I was like, milk? Eh, I don't know. But it was inexpensive. Um... So I decided to give it a try. Happy I did. It is a beautiful fresh scent with the creamy aspect that the milk gives it. So it's still a fresh scent. It's a it's a fresh scent, but it's a creamy fresh scent. And um, I've never. I don't. I I think this is my. First, I know. Let me say. I know this is my first first scent that I've ever had that is really fresh, but creamy at the same time. It's a little awkward. I've never had that. This is my first time having this. So it, it it's beautiful. 
Yeah, it's fresh, it's musky, but then when it dries down, it drops down, it, it dries down like creamy. And, and you get like a small sweetness to the dry down, but not, not like a sugary sweet, just like creamy. Not even a whipped cream kind of a thing, just creamy. It, it's, it's fresh, it's musky, and then it gives you just a little creamy, and I, I've never had that. So this is a unique fragrance, and again, I haven't seen too too many people talk about it um but yeah it's it's fresh it's musky and then it has a creamy aspect and it's really unique but it's really really good real good it smells be beautiful fresh scent it just was really different for me to have a fresh scent that was creamy i've had fruity fresh and i've had floral fresh and i've had soapy fresh and citrus fresh but this was my first time having a fresh musky scent that was creamy so if you want to try something new and you like a fresh scent and a musky scent, but you wanted something with like a different aspect, something different to bring to the table, I would say try this one because this has a creamy aspect and I I didn't know how it was going to go, but I was like, I'm going to get it anyways. You know, let me, let me go ahead and try it. And I tried it and I was pleasantly surprised. So I actually, I like this scent. So if you're wanting to try again a fresh new fragrance and you want to try something that's different, that's you know, fresh, but not like I said, like I said, you know, not, not fresh fruity or fresh floral or fresh citrus. This is fresh musky, but creamy at the same time. So it's a very unique scent and it smells really, really good. So I would say try this. I, I'm again, I'm, I've not seen videos on this. So give it a try. This, I like it. It's unique. I like it. It's unique. I, I really do like it. I just had to spend a little time on that one because that one is really unique. Like I said, I haven't seen too many uh, reviews on that, but it smells good. I'm happy I took a chance. Happy I took a chance, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And I guess we missed the 20 minute mark. So yeah, but we still, we still, we still good. So moving on to the next one, it is Curious by Britney Spears. And the notes, it's Lotus Jasmine White Woods. And, um, this is a pretty floral aquatic scent. This is a floral aquatic scent. This is also nostalgic for me. Um, this is one of the first perfumes I got. Um, it was Lucky You first. And then I want to say it was this one. And that Baby Fat perfume. Y'all remember the Baby Fat perfume? It came in like um, the light pink. The light pink Baby Fat perfume. Those were my first three perfumes that I got in middle school. Yeah, like actual perfumes, not body sprays, anything, actual perfumes. But yeah, this is just a beautiful floral aquatic scent. Yeah, so it's floral aquatic and the aquaticness of this aquaticness. I don't think that's a word, but y'all know what I mean. The aquatic aspect of this fragrance makes it fresh. So floral, aquatic, fresh scent. And it's a pretty light scent as well. All right, now the last one I'm going to be showing you guys is an oldie but goodie. As a matter of fact, one of my friends here on YouTube, Sunny, Sunny Sense, go check her out. But she um, she was like, I made her get this one. <laughs> uh, but it is a beautiful fresh scent, and that is Tummy Girl. I want to say this scent came out like in the 90s. I was like in elementary school. Um, I don't want to make anybody feel old, but I was... Definitely in elementary school when this scent came out. Um, yeah, and I'm out of college now, so I know this scent is like, yeah, I know it's like 20 years old. At least, at least, at least that, because I know, I know it came out in the 90s. I know, because my mom, she likes the men version of this. But again, tummy girl, let me go ahead and tell you the notes. Um, it has apple tree blossom, lemon, grapefruit, and cedar, and this is a floral fresh as well. You guys, Lord, I'm all on and off camera. I'm always sniffing my perfumes. Oh, it just, it's just sniffing my perfumes are uplifting for me, but whatever. That's not what we're here for. But anyways, this is a beautiful floral fresh scent. This is, I would say the epitome of a floral fresh scent because these florals together, it, it's really, really fresh. And I know I told you guys um, a couple different times that sometimes floral leans fresh or helps the freshness to come out in a fragrance. And that is exactly what's happening here. So this is a floral fresh scent. 
gorgeous scent. And I love this scent. Like I said, it came out in the 90s. But the fact that this scent is still around from the 90s and so many scents are not, that should let you guys know that it's good. And it is good. But again, that is a floral fresh scent. And that is Tummy Girl. All right, you guys. Now, that does bring us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, when you comment, you know, I, I love that you guys come in and let me know what you liked about the video. But again, also let me know what you guys want to see. Again, I want to create content that you guys want to watch. So let me know. I have already honored that and did some requests. If you go back and look at some of my videos, I'll do pop up the comments, you know, up there when people ask me to do certain videos. And I love doing the videos that you guys request. So again, let me know. And one more time, that brings us to the end of this video. I will see you guys in the next video.